Hi, hi, good morning. Yes, I can hear you. Hello, hello, Kashif. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. How are you, dear? Yes, I'm doing good. How about you? Good. Great, great. Let's just start our discussion now. Sure. Yes, so I could uh, I could not get second recording, so I just got uh, one recording. So when we did the lab setup, that recording uh, I still could not receive. Yeah, I will upload today. Okay, after this session. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's start our discussion and uh, let me check session meeting. Okay, so we have completed our telnet and SSH configuration on Cisco ESA file, right? Right. Okay, now. So, <clears throat> let's talk about the next concept is called routing implementation on Cisco ASA file. Mm -hmm. This is our topic, routing impl implementation. Right. So, for routing, uh, if we talk about routing concept, So we have three methods to implement routing. First one is called static routing. Second, we have default routing. And third is called dynamic routing. Right, right. So just one question, like, uh, like in last classes we were doing like outside, inside, we tested ping as well. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was the topic, right? We done yes. that. So this is after that, right? Just yes. to make sure. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now, see, in previous session, in previous session, uh, the topic was telnet and SSH. Right. It means, it means to the firewall. Right. To the firewall. Now, exactly. Now, now we are talking about through the firewall traffic. Okay. And for through the firewall traffic, we need to implement routing configuration. Okay. Because it's L3 device. It's L3 device, and we need. On L3 device, we need to configure route. Mm -hmm. So you can go with the static, default, and dynamic. In dynamic, we have an option to EIGRP and OSPF configuration. OS okay. So for for routing configuration, I'm using a small topology. This is our topology for routing configuration. Okay. Let me explain you. This is a Cisco ASA firewall. We okay. have inside network, outside okay. network, and DMG. Right. So this is our topology. And for routes, for routes, I'm trying to create some loop back. Right? So 1.1.1 1 dot, 1 dot, 1 slash 32 on R1 side. I don't know what this loop loopback means. Loopback. What is we loopback? Are, loopback. We are using for testing purpose. Okay. Okay. So, so that means we 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 don't have to add machine. No. Yes. Exactly. Oh, okay. Yes. That's why we are adding this. Okay. Yes. Loopback. This loopback is acting as an inside machine. Inside. Machine. Oh. Okay. Inside okay. machine. Now C dot C dot C dot C slash thirty two on outside route. Mm. So on every device. Uh, inside router, outside and DMG, we have a loop back. Mm -hmm. So let's start our basic configuration. So let's configure a router, a router one inside router. You can see as per our topology, we are using fast Ethernet zero slash zero. Mm, right. So I'm configuring IP address. You know, so right, the subnet we are using two hundred network. So fast Ethernet zero slash zero. 200, 200, 210, I'm using 255, 255, zero, no shutdown. This is fast Ethernet, 0 slash 0 configuration. Let's create loopback. So interface okay. L0, loopback. And IP does 1 dot, 
IP address one dot one dot one dot one slash thirty two single single IP address. Now show IP interface screen. You can see you have a one physical interface and one mm -hmm. logical. Interface. Okay. Let's go on to the DMZ router. No. It's a DMG now fast Ethernet zero slash zero IP address as per our topology ten dot one dot twenty three network ten dot one dot twenty three dot ten. I'm using slash twenty four no shutdown exit. Let's create a loop back on DMG router interface loop back zero. 2.2.2.2 slash 32. Show IP interface. So one physical interface and one loop back interface. Let's go on to the let's go on to the R3 outside router. Ten dot one dot thirty two dot ten class thirty four. Now let's create a loop back. So interface L zero three dot three two three and mask. Now, now we can configure our firewall device. Cisco ASA firewall. So show interface ip brief we have three interfaces ethernet 0 ethernet 1 mm -hmm. and ethernet 3. let's configure ethernet 0 is acting as a inside thing. so name if inside mm -hmm. ip address 200 200 200 one slash 24 no shutdown now interface ethernet ethernet one name of dmj Right. And security level I'm using 50 IP okay, address 10.1.23.1 255 255255.0 slash 24. Okay. So now interface is interface Ethernet 2. All right. Name if outside IP address 10.1.32.1 slash 24. Basic configuration is done. Right. It's a basic configuration. You can yeah. verify your IP address information. Okay, so in Cisco AC firewall, the good thing is what we can use show command anywhere. Okay. Show command oh, no need to go back in previous. Okay. Yes. Okay. So here we are here in, in global configuration mode. So you can type show interface IP brief. We have three interfaces. Show name if show name if. So we have three interfaces uh, inside interface now. DMG interface and outside interface. And these are the security levels. Right. Now, right. now, you can verify your routing table information right now. So with show root command, you can verify your routing One table. Mm -hmm. So right now we have only directly connected interface information. Right. If you check here, we have what? Only directly connected. connected. 200 right. network, 32 network, and 23 see one yeah 200 now, yes 23 now, 32 right yes now let's configure routing option here so i'm trying to implement static routing first static and uh, default routing okay so how to configure you know routing concept on router this is not not our task our task is what how to configure on firewall Oh, yes, because, yes. because we all know how to configure routing on router from CCNA. Exactly. Exactly. So so let's focus on firewall. But but mm -hmm. for complete connectivity, yes, I will configure routing on all devices. But okay. our focus is on firewall. So okay. we can configure static routing and mm -hmm. default routing. 
So I'm here on firewall. So for LAN side, I'm trying to configure static routing. So on a on a high level, what's the difference between static routing and default? Is See, static static, static static is what static we are using fixed. for. Uh, yes, it's a fix. And uh, if we know the destination address, uh -huh. we can create we can create an entry with static net, with static uh, routing option. But the right. problem with the static net, we cannot use in a big organization. Mm -hmm. okay, right. we have a, if we have a small network, so we can go with the static routing. Right. 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 Default routing we are using most of the time for ISP. Okay. For okay. example, here in cloud side, we don't know how many how many destinations. So okay. we, are, we, are, we are we are telling what for any unknown destination, this is my gateway. My ISP. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. any unknown destination, this is my gateway. So most okay. of the time, most of the time, you can you know. Uh, uh, default routing we are using for ISP site. Mm -hmm. So this is our right. task for inside network. I'm using mm -hmm. static for DMJ static and for outside. Let's configure default routing. Clear the task. Uh, task no, this clear. default. Yeah, this default. Uh, so so who is I ISP in this triangle? This this, this our route this outside route. This outside router is acting as a ISP router. Okay, so after ISP, what we have? This destination. Okay. This R2 is acting as a gateway, ISP gateway. Okay. So okay, I will configure it. default routing towards mm -hmm. this gateway. And for destination address, yes, we have this destination address on R3 router. 3 dot okay. 3 dot 3. So for connectivity, we can we can try try uh, you know connectivity with three three dot three dot three network. Clear now, Kashif. Right, right. So, mm -hmm. uh, so this is but, our but task. The, mm -hmm. But that rule we will add in firewall only, right? So yes. We will not do anything on this uh, no, ISP we, route. No, we we will see. We will configure on every devices, okay? Mm -hmm. But our main focus is on firewall. Okay. Okay. So, so what I'm doing, see, what I'm doing on R1, R2, and R3 mm -hmm. for basic connectivity on R1, R2, and R3, I'm trying to configure default because I don't want to create a static entry on R2 because we, we all know, right. we all know, we mm -hmm. all know how to create static entry or default entry, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but I don't want to create on R2 because this our focus is on Cisco ASAFR. Right. So from R1, R2, and R3 towards firewall, I'm configuring default route. Mm -hmm. For example, for example, for example, from R1 to firewall, mm -hmm. I'm configuring default routing. Mm -hmm. Any network, this is syntax. Any network, mm -hmm. any mask, 200, 200, 200, dot. Done. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to R2. Any network, any mask, 10 dot, 1 dot, 1 to 3 dot, from, from the edge out. Right. R3, you can see, I paid out any network, any mask, 10 dot, 1 dot, 32 dot, 1. Done. Wait. Mm -hmm. Done. So now, Let's focus on static default routing configuration on Cisco ASA file. Okay. Uh -huh. So you can verify with show route command. You can verify that right now we have only directly connected interfaces, directly uh -huh. connected routes. So as per our topology, I'm trying to configure a static routing for inside network or DMJ network. But for default, for outside, I will use default routing. Mm -hmm. So how to create and see? You can go into the global configuration mode. Command is what? Root. On router, command is what? Route, yeah. IP route. Right. On, on routers, you can use a command IP route. Syntax is same. Mm -hmm. But here we have IP route. On Cisco router, on firewall, you have root command. Just the route. Okay. Now, question mark. If you type question mark, you need to define your interface. Okay. So you are trying to create static and default routing. Perfect. No problem. But please tell me 
for mm -hmm. which interfix. Okay. So uh, I'm telling what I'm trying to configure routing for inside network. Okay. On and and in inside network I have a loopback one dot one dot one. This is my destination address. I want to create a static entry for this destination address. If anyone trying to go one dot one dot one dot one. Mm -hmm. A, and this is mask. This is mask. Okay. They can go via 200, 200, 200. This is entry. Uh, what, yeah, what can you have? explain? I'm, I'm explain on firewall. This I'm on firewall. Mm -hmm. If anyone trying to go 1.1.1, one dot, one dot, one, okay. so they can go via this gateway. This is static entry. What? Its syntax is same. See? Destination okay. information. This is what destination uh -huh. information. Mm -hmm. And next hope IP. Hop. Next okay. hope IP. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. It's clear. Okay. Now, now you can click on. You can press enter. You can press enter. It's this is our first entry. Now let's go up with the route. DMJ. DMJ now. 2.2.2.2 because we have a loopback 2.2.2 255.255.255 then 10.1.1 okay if anyone trying to go on 2.2.2 .2 .2, okay they can go via this gate here we nice. are using 10.1.23.10 clear now Ashif. Clear, clear. Yeah. Now let, let's configure default route. So route outside and any network, mm -hmm. any mask, any network, any mask 10.1.32.32.10. So what I'm saying, if anyone trying to go any unknown destination for okay. 1.1.1, please use this gateway. For two right. two two, please use this gateway. But if anyone mm -hmm. trying to go any other destination, any unknown destination, so they can go via, they can go via 10 dot one dot twenty three thirty two dot ten. Okay. So by yeah. here, anyone means we are talking about DMZ and inside any network, right? Any Technically, not, any means what? Any destination. Now, okay. If you, let me see. Now, if you verify this time your routing table, mm -hmm. so we have three entry. Okay. We have three entry. As per this configuration, see, we have two entry with S. S is called what? Mm -hmm. Static. And one entry with S is asterisk value. It means mm -hmm. asterisk right. value means what? This is candidate default. It means this is static default. Mm -hmm. Default round. So if right. anyone as per as per my configuration, as per entry. If anyone trying to go on 1.1.1, one dot one dot one, so they can go mm -hmm. via this gateway. That's correct. In your firewall, you have an entry. If anyone, if any traffic, firewall will receive for 1.1.1, one dot one dot one, firewall will send this traffic on 200, 200, 210. Mm -hmm. Now, if okay. anyone trying to go 2.2.2, two dot two dot two, can go via 10.1.23.10. Okay. Now, okay. now, 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 if anyone trying to access any other destination, not 1.1.1, not 2.2.1, not if mm -hmm. anyone trying to access any other destination, okay. any, any any unknown destination, so they can Correct. go on ISP set. Okay. Clear now? So this line means any IP, any, any destination. Any destination, exactly. Any destination. Okay. okay. But, right, but right now, into this small topology for testing, Correct. We have a loop back three dot three dot three dot three. Right. 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 So let's go on to the firewall now. So if I have a root, if I have a root in my routing table, routing table, so I, I, I want to verify my connectivity. Yeah, but so in this one, uh, just for my clarity, because mm -hmm. the, the packet will first come inside the firewall, right? No, no, right, right, so, no, right, no, right, no. I'm trying to initiate my traffic from firewall. Okay. I'm not initiating traffic to the firewall. Right now, okay. I, I'm here. Okay. Right now, I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to ping. I'm trying to ping my 
one dot one dot one, two dot two dot two, and three dot three. Okay. Okay. Got it. So let's verify because I have a, I have some entry in my routing table. So let's verify. Mm. Mm, yeah. Yeah. One dot one dot one. Yes, I am getting reply. Success rate is hundred percent. Okay, that now, means the our our rule is okay. Exactly. Two dot two dot two. Yes, I can ping. Now ping three dot three dot outside outside loop back. Yes, I am getting reply. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, so, but now 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 let's go on to the inside route. Let's go on to the inside route. So you can verify onto this inside router. We will show IP route command. With show IP route command, you have a default route, right? Mm -hmm. We are not using any static entry. You you can configure like if on R one you can configure this destination information, then right. next to IP, then again correct, you correct. need to create one more one more entry for this mm -hmm. destination again gateway is same. But right. but we are using here what default route. So mm -hmm. for any destination. Any destination gateways 200, 300, 200, 200, okay. For any destination gateways 200, 200, 200, 200. So now I'm trying to initiate my traffic. Okay. So on R1, I'm trying to ping, I'm trying to ping 3.3.3.3. It means I'm trying to travel through the farm. Right. 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 So this traffic, see, if I if I will generate if I will generate this traffic, mm -hmm. then source is what? Source, source is, what? is the one. Source is one this exit, exit. No, no, no. If you want to if you want to ping from one dot one dot one dot one dot one, so you need to specify with source command one dot one dot one. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. If you Correct. if if you ping three dot three dot three directly, so it means you are trying to ping from. This exit interface. This, 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 yeah, exit interface, correct. Zero so, dot zero. Yeah. So, uh, so IP, no, exit interface is what? 200, 200, 200 dot one. Here we are 10. using, no, oh, yes, sorry, 10, right? 10. Yeah. Now, this traffic is going to hit onto the firewall box. Now, what firewall will do? If any traffic is going to hit onto the firewall device, mm -hmm. then firewall. Hit. So this traffic is going to hit it onto this firewall device. Now firewall will receive, okay, you are trying to go on uh, 3.3.3. Let right. me check my routing table. Mm -hmm. In my routing table for 1.1.1, this is gateway, 2.2.2, for this is the gateway. Okay, for 3.3.3, I don't have any static entry. I have a default entry. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so for 3.3.3, yes, this is my, this is the part of my any unknown destination. So you can go via, 32 dot. So mm -hmm. this firewall will forward this traffic to the outside router. Clear? Okay. So right. it's, a simple, it's a simple routing switching concept. Mm -hmm. routing concept. Right. So now if I'm trying to ping for example, I have a route. And as per my routing table, I'm waiting for reply. Mm -hmm. Correct. But I'm not getting reply. See, success rate is what? Success rate is zero percent. So I'm not getting reply. Why? See, if you remember, I told you we are working with Cisco ASA firewall, right? Mm -hmm. And right. and on Cisco Cisco ASA firewall works with a works with a concept is called security level. Right. By default, traffic is allowed from higher security level to lower no. security level by default. Mm -hmm. Right. But, remember, but remember always only TCP and UDP traffic. Oh. And this is what, Kashif? This is ICMP traffic. ICMP, correct. ICMP traffic. Mm -hmm. So higher to Got lower, it. higher to lower, it's allowed, no problem. But correct. only only TCP and UDP traffic. Uh -huh. But this this traffic is ICMP. It means from this inside machine, you cannot ping to ping. your loop back. Mm -hmm. You cannot ping. Right. But wait, but wait, wait, but wait. If you go on to the R3 on on onto this outside router, or you can say on R3, 
I'm trying to enable telnet line vty zero space password Cisco log log now host name is uh, ISP mm. now so I cannot ping I cannot ping but in case if I'm trying to access telnet Telnet is a part of TCP connection, right? Correct, correct. It should so, work. So now, if I'm trying to access Telnet, same IP, then 3.3.3. See, okay. the good thing is what? I cannot ping, but I can access Telnet. Mm -hmm. Right, because TCP. TCP. So password is CISCO123. See? Okay. ISP router. Correct. Now, no. If you remember, I told you, if traffic is traveling through the firewall device, if traffic is right now, traffic is traveling, right? Yes. I from, I'm on R1. Okay, I can access this outside route. Traffic okay. is traveling through the firewall device. Correct. So on Cisco ASC firewall, if traffic is traveling through the firewall box, then when firewall will maintain this state of connection in a table mm. is called state table. Right. And in state table, what we have? Source, IP, mm -hmm. source, port number, right. destination, IP, and destination, port number. So this is the, that, that was a theory concept, right? Remember? Right, right. Yeah. Traffic is traveling through the firewall box and firewall will maintain the state of connection in the connection table. When the reply packet will come, firewall will verify this packet information in a state table. If there is any entry, traffic is allowed. Otherwise, no. right, right. So right now with this this traffic, this traffic was initiated initiated from inside network and mm -hmm. and so it's allowed. So okay. now let's verify our state table. Mm -hmm. Our state table on fire. But in this case, source port and destination port will be same, right? No, it no, won't no, change. No, no, no. See, it will okay, change. Uh, okay, see, let, let me let me let me show you. Let me show you the entry, okay? Okay. Show connection. Let me show the show connection command. You can verify your state table entry. Mm -hmm. What you have in your in your connection table. Okay. So this 200, 210, this inside PC is trying to access what? 3.3.3. Mm -hmm. And source port number is a random port number, but destination is Kashi. 23. Telling port number is what? 23. 23. Yeah. Clear. So what we have in our what we have in our connection table. Just just one second. Just mm -hmm. let me just read this line. Okay. I can I can explain you. See. Okay. This is this is what this is what a TCP connection. Yes. And now this is what source IP. This is what source IP. Source port number. Correct. Destination IP and destination port number. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So one and, one question here, like mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. how the communication works if it is two five five two three, but uh, finally it's twenty three. So uh, how it knows like See, this, uh, is, this, is, this is source IP. This is source IP. See, when yeah. the traffic when traffic is traveling, mm -hmm. if you remember basic routing concept or basic yeah. basic packet flow on router, correct. Basic packet flow. So what we have if traffic is traveling, so uh, what it's required it's required source IP. Oh. For example, if I'm trying to ping google.com, mm -hmm. so my source IP address is what? My source IP right now is 192.168.1.4, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And now automatically I, I need a source port number. So it's Correct. a random port number. It's always random port number? Yes, it's random, exactly. Engine? Yes, it's always random. It's not like 23? Like, no. uh, See, this, uh -huh. this, is, this is for destination. It's a fix. Because you are trying to access telnet service. Mm -hmm. Okay. Telnet standard port number is not. It's a fix. 
I'm talking mm -hmm. about the source port. Okay. It's, so this my, my my laptop. If I'm trying to ping, mm -hmm. if I'm trying to ping Google.com, right. So I have my source IP one dot four, and automatically mm -hmm. it will take a source port number, any source okay. port number. Okay. Okay. But what for, about for the ping to go through? For the ping to go through? Yes, and see. For example, mm -hmm. if I'm trying to access Telnet, for example, Telnet. Right. Google.com. So my source IP address is 192.168.1.4, right? This one. Correct. Correct. And my source port number is any random port number. Okay. What about destination? What about destination? Destination is Google IP. Right. Destination is Google IP and destination port number. I'm trying to access Telnet service. So this is my mm -hmm. destination. Destination service. Okay. Destination port. So this is the syntax. Mm -hmm. Okay. So same information. Same, same information. This same information. I can, the good thing is what Ashif, we can see this information in firewall. We cannot see in mm -hmm. router. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Because that's why I, what router, I was thinking. Like it's twenty three. Source see, as well as destination. Yeah. And see, the router will not maintain any state of connection, but firewall can. Mm -hmm. So we can we can see this state connection in firewall. Clear now? Right, right. Okay, now. So here we can see the connection table. Now, if I'm trying to exit, for example, exit. So connection is closed. Again, this time if I'm trying to verify my connection table, so traffic is not traveling through the firewall device. So I, mm -hmm. I don't have any entry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clear now? Yes. Entry is, entry is gone because right. I don't have any connection. Okay. So when traffic is traveling, firewall will maintain the state of connection. Mm -hmm. Clear now? Yes. Now let's let's uh, let's generate again, for example, telnet password Cisco one, two, three. I can access and you can verify. This time you have a different port number. Previous, uh -huh. see. Okay. Source port number is a random port, number, but destination mm -hmm. is fixed because you are trying to access telnet service. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Now, now exit. So, traffic is traveling. So, so, so just, just one, one question here. Like generally, when I am configuring the rule, mm -hmm. I tell few things only, like source IP, destination IP, and port number, mm -hmm. which is normally twenty three. Mm -hmm. uh, generally then, in firewall rule we don't define this uh, random port so so within see, the firewall you, you, cannot how, how define this, you cannot define this random port on any device mm -hmm. right it's automatic okay so, so can, can I say that in firewall like uh, when we are going towards 3.3.3 .3 .3, so mm -hmm. so it anything will go like any any random port the firewall will allow right yes okay if you are okay. not only 3.3.3. .3 if you are trying to access any destination, so destination mm -hmm. IP address is fixed. Destination mm -hmm. port number is fixed. Correct. But source IP address will change. Okay. And firewall so will not, not look, look at all. Port number. Source port, yeah. Mm -hmm. And firewall will not look at that port technically, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Clear now? Clear. Okay. Now, now, so wait. Uh, what was your question? Firewall will yeah. not look at the source yeah, yeah. So port. Tech, no, no, no. So, no, no, no. Yeah. See, see, see. Every connection has a port number. No, no, no. Wait. Mm -hmm. For example, for example, Kashi, there is a two machine. Correct. Oh. Wait. Firewall will, will maintain right. also the source ports. It's important. Okay. For these two computers, if they are trying to access Telnet, for example. Right. This is, this is server S R V. Mm -hmm. This inside machine. What is source IP? 200, 210, 200, 211. Right. This right. traffic is going to hit, and now source port number is, for example, 10,000. For, mm -hmm. for this source port number is 10,000, 10,001, right. 10,001. For example, then how how your firewall will will uh, identify if reply packet is coming? Mm -hmm. firewall will verify this reply packet is for this one or for this one behalf of your port number mm -hmm. because in in between this inside machine this server source port number is ten thousand 
Mm -hmm. So when the reply packet will come, Pavel will verify, okay, reply is coming from 8.8.8, .8 .8, okay? Mm -hmm. And this reply is for tell it, tell, tell it. And this reply is for what? This particular source port number. Right. So now Pavel can identify, okay, this source port number was generated by PC number 1. Then, like what my question was, generally when I'm configuring the rule, Mm -hmm. I just define See, configuring source IP rule, address. Configuring rule is a different thing. Okay. Okay. Configuring ACL rule on firewall is a different thing. Mm -hmm. But but technically it works in the same way, right? Like like for example. See see uh, in, in in rule you are you are using source IP, destination IP, and port number. Yes. Destination port number. So you can only define source IP, destination IP, destination port. You cannot define source port number. Okay, okay. N now it's clear. So yes. when we define the port number, basically we are defining destination port number. Exactly. All fixed. Okay. 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 Got it. Okay. So now, now let's let's verify again. So connection. So we have connection tip exit. So it means traffic is traveling as per our discussion. Traffic is traveling from higher security level to lower security level. No problem. Mm -hmm. right. Now, in case, in case, if I'm trying to initiate my traffic from outside, for example, if I want to check traffic from lower security level to higher security level, then it should not work. It's, it's a block, right? Let, yes. Let's let's check. Let's check. Okay. Yes, dear. So now. This is your inside router. So host name is inside. Okay. So I'm trying to enable telnet line VTY either four password sixty e one two three login. So let's initiate our traffic from R three. Now host name is okay. Host name is so I'm trying to initiate first. I'm trying to ping one dot one dot one. So from this outside router, from this outside router, I'm trying to ping this inside loop back. Success rate is zero. No mm -hmm. problem. Let's initiate the net connection. One dot one dot one dot one dot one. See, Kashif, I'm not getting reply. Mm, yeah. I'm not getting reply. Still trying, yeah. So, yes. So, so as per our discussion, traffic is not allowed from lower security level to higher security. Higher. Everything is denied. Mm -hmm. By default, traffic is al allowed from higher security level to lower security. Level. I hope it's right. clear for you. Yeah, yeah. So that means we are we are secure, like. Uh... No yes, one traffic, from ISP traffic, or yes. from outside, they cannot they cannot enter into inside inside network. Yes. But mm -hmm. in but the point is what we need to allow. We need to allow because I need, yeah, yeah. need to allow some outside machine, some outside PC to access my web server, for example, to access my uh, FTP server, to access my okay. DNS server. So okay. yes, we need to allow. And if okay. you want to allow, by default it's denied, but if you want to allow, Correct. you need to configure what? ACL two, mm -hmm. okay. Access control list. ACL. So we'll we'll discuss ACL later. But right now, let's uh, complete our routing section. Okay. So what we have? This is our static and default routing. Clear? Yeah. Let's go on to the router. So on router, you can verify your routing your routing configuration. Show, run. Show, run route. The show run route, you can you can get all route, all entry with route command. Right. So yes, we have outside entry, inside entry, DMJ entry. Now, okay. in case, now I want to delete. I want to delete all these entry because I want to configure RIP, EIGRK, and OSP. I want to use default routing concept here. Uh, sorry, dynamic routing concept, concept here. So I need to delete. So what we have as per static configuration, I need to delete 
all entry one by one. Right. You can you can type no command. You can and copy, copy this command. Yeah. You can paste. But you know it's a firewall. We mm -hmm. have good feature in firewall. In router, yes, we need to use no command. Mm -hmm. Here, okay. what we, here what we can do, we can use no. No or no. We can use clear configure. Mm -hmm. Clear configuration. So I want to clear all the configuration. Okay. All the configuration which is start with the root command. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with a single line, you can erase all the configuration, all the configuration which is start with the root. If you press enter, clear configuration root. So now this time you can verify, show, run, route. There's no any entry. This time there's no any entry. You can verify your routing table. Done. Mm -hmm. Clear on, right. Ashif? Yeah. So this is what our static and default routing. Now we can we can discuss dynamic routing, but not today, tomorrow. Right, Ashif. right, right. And okay. see, uh, please connect. Let me tell talk to uh, Shainer, okay? You can yeah. do your uh, demo discussion on best map and testing, okay? Sure, give sure. Me, give me uh, five minutes, I will update you. Sure, sure. Bye, Kashif. Okay. I will upload okay. the previous session video and today's session video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Bye, bye. bye.